Hello and welcome to another week of energy readings. We're looking at the week of December the 11th to the 17th. Now, before we do the reading, where we will always look at the energy reading or the energy of the week ahead or for the week ahead, and then go into the individual star signs, it is important to remember that we are still in uh, retrograde. Mercury is still in retrograde until the 22nd. And that um, <clears throat> can make things a little bit difficult. Uh, for people at the moment. Um, I certainly can feel the effect on Mercury massively. <laughs> so sometimes it's just an energy thing where, where, where things just don't gel and um, you know you just can't seem to get out of it um, really. Um, but the, the main um, message has always been when there is a retrograde is to actually look at things that happened in the past. Patterns, traumas, things that hold you back Things that even uh, don't allow you to see things clearly in this lifetime and, and probably even make choices that you wouldn't have made uh, otherwise if whatever it is that needs to be removed, uh, the trauma that needs to be released from the past is still around you. So, um, so before we go into the reading, I want to show you uh, uh, something that, that can be done. Um, I do a lot of, nu of numerology, do a lot of nu numbers and today I lit seven candles simply because seven is a really powerful protective number. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You probably remember the uh, famous Archangel Michael grid that, um, that basically says, I asked you to cover me to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right, from above, from below, and in the center. So you have sevenfold protection. And it's a good thing to remember this. So I say this one more time before we start. I asked you to cover me to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right, from above, from below, and in the center. It's just a nice thing to say, um, if angels don't float your boat, uh, don't, don't say it to Archangel Michael, say it to the universe, say it to whoever you trust, say it to your guides, um, they're all your protectors anyway. So that's how this works. Um, we're having quite a beautiful day today because it's snowing outside and so it's, 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 quite, it's quite lovely. Um, so like I said, we're starting now looking, looking at the week of December 11th to the 17th and we're starting with the overall energy of the week. Yeah, and it's interesting because we have the owl and the bear, and the owl is uh, associated with the moon and with feminine energy. So it is truly about uh, going into your strengths, especially when um, the sun sets. So in the evening is your time to, to reflect. Uh, it, it also may be the time where, should you be prone to depression or anxiety, where this flares up for you. So please, light seven candles, say the, say the grid, uh, protect yourself, allow yourself to hire your energy with this. And even if you find it difficult to talk, looking at fire and looking at, 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 at beautiful, uh, candles burning is a nice way to to reprogram your mind that there are better things to come if that makes sense so we have the owl and the bear um, and what is interesting um, the, the owl is the animal that 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 uh, draws an auditory map to find the mouse in the undergrowth and that just means that you have to listen to what's going on around you so all this week pay attention to what is being said around you and uh, and also because this is about focusing um, Pay attention to things um, that uh, come into focus. You, for instance, you could you could you could go past the shop and there's a, a newspaper in the in the um, in the window and a headline or something grabs you uh, uh, for no apparent reason. It's not about what what the story is about, but if anything grabs you, grabs your you know, asks your attention to to pay attention to it, do that. Pay attention because um, with a week like this. There will be loads of help coming from the universe and oftentimes it isn't writing um, because a lot of people have been damaged by, by, by words. Um, so a lot of the time it isn't writing, also pay attention to feathers and all these kind of things. And the bear is all about femininity as well. So what that really means is for all of us, not just for, for the ladies out there, is that this is the week where our overall energy tells us to be in our softness. Uh, try to avoid... Um, strong discussions, try to avoid situations 
that don't necessarily make you feel appreciated. Um, stay clear of these things. So uh, that's the overall energy for, for the week. <clears throat> it doesn't necessarily tell you whether or not this is going to be a difficult week ahead because this is just what we call overall where the idea is to see what we can do um, in, in a way to protect ourselves. And you, and you notice that the, um, the topic of protection is strong this week. And protection does not mean that you are in danger. Protection that means, uh, it just, just means that, that you're, you're, you're more open this week and, more, and, and, and even more sensitive than you, than you already are. And that can allow people with low energy to find you and latch onto you. And um, so that's what this is about. Right? So please, um, for all of us, let's be in our softness this week and make this the best week we possibly can. Right? So here we go, and now we're starting with Sagittarius. For Sagittarius this week, you need to realize that the more you are vocal, the less you get. This week, things will come to you. You have the blue heron, which is one, uh, an animal that stands on one leg uh, all the time, and when the fish comes, he just grabs it. <laughs> um, they used to actually call the herons uh, the, the false um, vultures, because he has no hair on the leg. So, uh, so sometimes people who name, who name birds uh, are a bit weird, but it, it denotes that things will come to you. You also have the jaguar which is an animal that oftentimes seeks an advantage point or vantage point um, and likes to be higher up. And that means that this is the week for, for all Sagittarius people to really have high energy. And remember, because the, um, the, the Jaguar has uh, unique dots, is you don't have to fit in. You just have to make sure you rise above situations this week and stay calm because things will come to you this week. Don't let anyone chase you, okay? That was Sagittarius, going into Capricorn. For Capricorns, uh, for the Capricorns this week, it's important to remember how important you are. You have to see yourself as the most important person on the planet. And it's not ego, because you're not walking around going like, yeah, yeah I'm the most important person on the planet. <laughs> and you can all, you know, have off or whatever. That's not what you're saying. What you're saying is, I have my values. I deserve to be treated kindly. And I demand to be treated kindly. That's what this is about. Um, you also have to have the puma, uh, who is a little bit like the, the jaguar and the leopard. They represent strong magic. So, uh, and the magic inside you is what wants out this week. So uh, for Capricorns, it would be very good if this week you joined the drumming circle, this week you would do a lot of meditation, probably go on a retreat. Um, all these things are really important. The more spiritual you can live this week, the better things will be. And remember how important you are, okay? Going to Aquarius. Okay, <clears throat> for Aquarius this week, um, you might feel burdened by uh, financial issues this week or by, by things that are difficult for you to uh, either maintain or to get. So this is about, um, in, in most cases, because you have the big horn sheep and um, the, the sheep, these kind of type of sheep really denote um, worries about finances. Um, but the message is that you will be fine this week, right? You, uh, because the big one sheep hangs on two legs on a cliff and doesn't fall. So what they're saying to you is be steadfast. Um, whatever is happening in your life is not the end of the world. Um, and you need to realize that. What you do have to do this week though, uh, because you also have the horse, is to make sure that your personal space <clears throat> is not cluttered with people that are uh, vibrating low energy. They could be that they're just tired, they could be that they're negative, they could be that they, that they um, uh, add to your worry about situations. You should stay clear. You know, be a little bit more detached from, from people this week um, and also from situations this week, but also have a lot of faith and trust that, that uh, the financial trouble will, will actually um, be okay. You will be fine. 
Okay, there was Aquarius going into Pisces. Right. So, us Pisces, we have the caribou and the fish. And the caribou is an animal that is uh, associated with the cycle of life. So this week there is um, endings, and there is new beginnings. And um, so it might not be a, an easy week at all. Um, yeah, you can feel I'm a bit um, affected by energy this week. <laughs> so apologies for my little outburst here. But um, the caribou is also an animal that, that, that is <clears throat> quite a heavy animal and is not sinking in. So uh, it's not going to be a, a, a too difficult week. The other animal that, that us Pisces are having is, is fish. And it's, um, it is a sign that we are all supernatural beings. So what is asked of us Pisces this week, especially those of us who are affected by life at the moment, <clears throat> is to remember that we made other star stuff and that we are much more than just physical beings and that we have loads of skills to hire our energy um, and that's what, 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 what we're going to do um, this week. So again, meditation, um, affirmations are really, really awesome to do this week. But please be clear that this is a week or where, where endings are likely, are, are, are likely and where things come to a, to a close. And the important thing always is to not try to replace them with new beginnings. It is more difficult, but also more powerful and really um, important to sometimes just sit with stuff. And that's what's happening uh, this, this week. So don't rush into anything new. It, would be, it wouldn't allow you to heal from stuff. And remember, Mercury retrograde is still until the 22nd, so, so um, it's also a good time to just reflect on stuff, okay? Whew, that's the Pisces over with, <laughs> going into Aries. Oh, and the cards fell out, so they want to be red. <clears throat> Aries have two birds this week. You have the Peregrine Falcon and the Canada Goose. And, and birds always mean, um, and we had this earlier with another star sign, is to um, hire your energy. See things from a higher point of view. Um, you know, a bird's eye view can actually allow you to, um, well, see situations for what they truly are. Uh, it's this power of observation that is really powerful here. And, um, and the falcon is an animal that, 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 that sees uh, its meat uh, um, from miles away. And the Canada goose is the animal that, that can fly for a long time before she rests. So in other words, um, you will be nurtured this week. You see things coming to you. You can, you can sense and feel this week that you are appreciated. And, um, and you need to be a little bit patient before your overall energy is stronger. Um, but rest will come too. Okay? That was Aries going into Taurus. Interesting. For Taurus, you have the Arctic Fox and the Red Wolf. <clears throat> and that denotes that you are an intelligent being that has been around for a long time. You are an old soul. But right now, things are quite um, difficult in your life. Because the Arctic Fox, with all his um, wits, can only live in the Arctic, where food, food is scarce. So what they're saying to you right now, not many opportunities will come to you this week and you have to um, pace yourself and bring your energy over to the whole week so don't do anything that is too strenuous you also have the red wolf and wolves by default are um, leaders and yet you have the red wolf who lives in the desert so he too is a little bit trapped in the way he can live his life and also uh, the other extreme is here too, that there's uh, food scarcity where he lives. And this is not about food, this is about opportunities, this is about, um, well, new beginnings that are, that, are, that are scarce this week. And what they asked me to do is to really just realize 
that this is a week where not much is happening either way. And you just have to be calm and remember your strengths and just get through it. Okay? That was Tauruses going into Gemini. Geminis are going through changes, and these changes are important uh, to happen. Um, there will also be a lot of visitations this week for, for Gemini from, um, from the spirit world, especially from people that come from your past. So you will be surrounded by, by, by loads of ancestors this week. Um, and you have the insect, which is the animal that, that, that talks about renewal. And um, so you're going through stuff that is heavy. Uh, Gemini is going through stuff that is heavy and um, and you will get through it that's the message here you will get through it and you and you will get a sense of, of feeling renewed feeling more in your strengths right um, so and that's just all you to, to need to know this week um, it also goes without saying that this is not a week for you to make to make decisions on something just let this one be a slow one and you're gonna be fine moving into cancer For cancer, you have the frog and the grey fox. So what they're saying to you is, um, the frog is an amphibian, so he can live on land and on water. So you will be fine. Whatever life throws at you this week, you will manage uh, to to um, to get through this. You also have the grey the, the grey fox, which means you are a very old soul, and um, and and maybe um, if I may be so bold as to suggest that. It is a good week for looking at uh, probably soul retrieval and see if there are parts of you that have shut down and maybe um, ask them to return. So that's, um, that's the main thing here. But on a whole, uh, you will be just fine this week. Okay, that was Cancer going into Leo. Leos have to make sure this week to not be misunderstood, um, and you need you need some space this week, right? Um, you have as an analogy you have you have the dolphin, which is all about again feminine energy, but it also is about being misunderstood. You know, you you see a dolphin, and most people assume because they have these smiley faces, they're always all right and they're always happy, um, which is far from the truth. And so sometimes people can't read you, and maybe you're partly responsible for this. Maybe you are a person that is too kind, and um, maybe that you don't speak your truth. This would be a week to make sure that people know exactly where you're standing, and that you're not taking anything from them, that um, when they try to make you feel you're less, if that makes sense. Um, so that's important for you. Also, you have the, um, you have the horse, a uh, symbol of strength as well. So you're quite strong, but also the symbol of needing space. Um, so again, um, like we had in other star signs, detach yourself a little bit, but, um, but speak your truth. It's really, really important. Okay? And now we're going into Virgo. So... Virgos this week have the mule deer and the kid fox. And uh, every time you have an animal with antlers, you're quite protected. So you're going to be all right. The mule deer is also an animal that um, has what we call split hoofs. So if um, the ground is shaky and, and not good, it will not sink in. And that just means that this week you will be fine. You will be fine. Nothing, nothing earth shattering uh, comes your way. The only thing you need to... to, to um, to look at is your energy because you have the kid fox again I, I mentioned this earlier when you have uh, uh, animals that live in an area like the desert or or the Arctic where um, opportunities are, are, are difficult to get um, and they have to therefore um, pace themselves right and not uh, exert too much energy that's what that's your message this week is to just trust that everything will be fine nothing earth shattering is coming your way and um, and pace yourself right 
right? So that also always means when it says when 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 the message is to pace yourself, right? Is to um, do a lot of meditations, do a lot of journeys. What also happens a lot is drumming. So if you are into drumming, uh, vibrational therapies um, are just awesome. You can also play um, uh, a Tibetan bowl or something. It's just really important for you to be around uh, higher vibrations and you can create them yourself through meditations and journeying. If you find it difficult, all you need to do is, is to, um, to, to play an instrument in a way to higher your energy. Okay, so that was um, Virgo going into Libra. For Libras this week, it's important to be um, to to remember that you have a divine nature, and that you have a very calm nature, and that you have or can have a very calm nature, and that you are uh, by default actually a very nice person. So this is the week to to be that nice person. If anyone or any situation keeps you from being in a place where you can be yourself, and therefore you know, find your, your nicer side. Um, that's the week then to, to make sure that these situations uh, get resolved. You have the cat. Um, as you know, they're all very independent, but um, it's all about magic with cats. Um, they're, they're super powerful. Um, and so the message, the message here is for, for Libras um, to remember that um, you don't have to follow anybody and you have the right to retreat and you have the right to rest, and uh, as cats do, you should claim it, right? So that's Libra, and now uh, we're going to the final star sign for the week, which is Scorpio. Oops, <laughs> okay, you won't want to be read. Right, so Scorpio, you have the Arctic Wolf and the Great Horned Owl. Um, so wolf denotes leaderships, uh, leadership. It's important to um, be part of a pack, if that makes sense. Um, don't isolate yourself this week. That's the most important thing, and that's the main message here. Don't isolate yourself this week. You might not feel that this is your strongest week, um, and it may not be your strongest week, but um, it makes sense to be with people that are on your side. Um, and that could just be, you know, um, having a conversation with a good friend, meeting someone for a coffee, even if it's just the only hour um, of the week that, where you allow yourself to go out. Right? Um, but be with people that um, are good listeners, that, that, that understand where you're coming from. And then you have to haunt owl. I was talking about owls earlier, um, how uh, this is about listening. So um, you are also a very good listener. That does not mean this week that you should be listening to, to people's <laughs> issues. Because, um, energetically speaking, you have issues of your own this week. And it is important to not be burdened by other people. But on the whole, the main message for you is, is to remember that you're part of something bigger. And it's time you, you, you thought out people that are like you. And again, I see this from a spiritual point of view. Um, I know we're getting closer to Christmas. People are getting super busy. Everybody is, is out and about. Uh, uh, having to buy presents uh, and, and stuff and thinking that's that's <laughs> that's the main thing to do on Christmas which obviously it isn't um, but a lot of people are actually stressed uh, and, and, and not everybody is in this Christmas mode um, and what they're asking you to do is is to be in in that in that mood that that that, that Christmas represents especially when you're a child where you go like wow it's awesome and today like I said you know we have heavy snow um, hardly a car on the road um, and while this is a problem for some, I super enjoy this. Um, coming from a country, uh, Germany, where we have really harsh winters, um, and now having lived abroad for 17 years, I sometimes miss um, missed snow. And so, so definitely I will be out in the snow in a bit. And, um, and that's uh, important as well, to just realize the beauty around you. right? And that's all we have time for. I'm not 100% sure that there will be another video before, before Christmas. Um, I do my best. <laughs> um, if not, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And uh, we see each other again. All right then. Bye-bye.